Okay, we are at the Kestrel Lane Hideaway townhouse unit. It's absolutely wonderful. These don't come up very often, um, especially the end units, which is super lucky. Um, so we've got two cars parked here in the driveway and I'll show you the garage because it is a tandem garage for cars. You've got this little deck up here by the living room and then this uh, third bedroom has its own little deck which can be either a bedroom or an office. That is what makes this unit so special because most of these are two bedrooms and then the end unit gets these um, nice little... Um, and they've done a, a lot of little landscaping and they've got a, a, tr a path up to the backyard which I'll show you. So here's the entry point. And um, this is kind of your utility area. I did tell him that a lot of uh, my clients will knock this wall out under the stairs and make a really nice wide mudroom area if you felt like you needed that. Um, because you do have this closet here, but you do have quite a bit of space over here that has not been uh, used. And so then we've got a mudroom here and your laundry room. And then this is just your mechanical room. And then I'll turn left here. I've done such a great remodel upstairs. It's so nice. But you've got this super long, this is a big car in the garage. So that's a, that's a tandem garage where you can go side by, or uh, one after the other. So I will go upstairs and we have the luxury vinyl laminate on the floor, super burly. And uh, just some nice shelving here. We'll give you a little, uh, we got a powder room there I'll show you, but the kitchen is just beautiful. That is your west facing sun over there. And in the front of the unit is all east facing sun. So it is a super light, bright home. This is the third bedroom. I call it the third because most of these units don't get the third. So you've got a nice little deck out here. And this whole room can be used as a third bedroom, an office, whatever it is you need. So I'll give you a little video. Oh, here's the powder room I wanted to show you as well. So that's super cute. All right, and then just a wonderful remodel. So impressed with what they did here. Nice cabinetry. Soft clothes, stainless, nice and open, really pretty. You've got a nice pantry over here for additional foods. And then this is awesome because it's an end unit, so you get this end unit patio. Oh, you guys can stay in the picture. And they live here, so they've done a ton of little flowers and... No. Yeah, nice. Dog-friendly. So then let's walk over. It does come mostly for, or actually fully furnished. So i um, got a nice size dining room area here. You could even have a bigger table if you need. And you've got a nice size living room here. This could, the, the couch could even come out further if you wanted. Um, you know, a, a nice buffet here. It's, it's so cute. Got a gas fireplace. And then if you want to open the door, for some cool breezes, you've got this here as well. And then you've got your dartboard area. I think my wall would look way worse. Theirs looks really good. So then we'll go upstairs. We'll see the two bedrooms up here. Got another little pantry closet like the one below here. I won't open that. Carpet's in decent shape, probably just needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna come here and this is the master bedroom. Nice size. Um, really nice and wide, just aspens, all of, you know, it's just so pretty. Little open space back there, normal size closets, nice and long. And the master's bathroom is not huge, but it does its trick. You know, if you wanted to spiff this up, you could, but it's in good shape. All right, so then I'll walk over here to the second bath. And this one also has a split. 
I just heard that you have three kids. Uh -huh. And you could do queen bunks in here. So um, there's, there's definitely enough room. Queen on the top, queen on the bottom. Super common. Big views out of here. That's the Ptarmigan Wilderness area up there. Beautiful neighborhood, very nice and quiet. Um, I can't tell you how much, I always love hideaway townhomes. They don't come on the market very often. Um, the location is just superb. You've got the bike path going into town. The town is doing some unique um, stuff. If you were to go on the town of Silverthorn, you'd see what they're doing. They're revitalizing and redoing the entire downtown core. So there you have it.